Hello, hello. Here we kick things off for a little tutorial about um, some next steps that Shopify took in their uh, Shopify markets approach. This has been a very long awaiting uh, feature and has been released in the new summer editions of uh, Shopify. You are now able to um, yeah, make the website um, different um, depending on the market from the customizer itself. So more concretely, imagine that you want to have a different banner image for the Belgian market compared to the Netherlands market. So with uh, here at Your Digital, we have a lot of clients that are on Shopify that sell throughout the world basically, but let's take Europe as an example, um, uh, because it's obviously one of the more complex um, um, continents to do e-commerce uh, on because obviously you want to uh, try to scale within Europe because that's a big market, right? And you want to uh, extend or go beyond your local uh, country's uh, borders. But the issue is that, for example, um, a uh, holiday season or a discount season depends a bit from country to country. Uh, imagine that you're a fashion store and there are sales in Germany. Maybe there are no sales in France and no sales in Belgium. Um, so obviously what you want to do in Germany, right? Your German market store, which can be in one store, um, you want to show on the banner image that there are uh, sales because the people in Germany are all thinking about uh, a sales period, but not in Belgium and in France. So um, you might not want to update your banner image for the Belgian market and the French market. So this is actually what I'm going to show you right now. Um, so here you have the drop down for the different uh, markets that you have created. Uh, this can also be a B2B channel, but this is a Shopify Plus uh, feature only. Uh, but let's just focus on the different countries that we have. So basically these come from the back end, right? The settings that we have made that we have these different markets on this uh, store. Um, so you have a default where you have um, everything, right? So um, the default store is the store for potentially the whole world. And then you have a specific store for Belgium, for France and international, uh, Mexico and the Netherlands, for example. Um, so imagine um, that you want to, let's have the um, example of the, of the hero image, uh, that you want to set a different hero image for, for example, France compared to uh, Belgium. So here you saw it already. I swapped to a different market, in this case, France. And you all of a sudden saw that there was a, a hero image added. Um, there was no image at this um, Belgian store yet. Um, so basically, what does this mean? If you, if you were to visit the website, the Belgian website, you would see no hero image, while if you would uh, go for the French um, website, you could have this hero image. This means basically that you can add whatever um, um, content or whatever image to whatever section specifically for a specific market. And this was something that was not um, possible at all before. Another crazy thing, I mean, you can go quite far just to show you um, in the basic setup. So the overarching mother theme, if we can call it, has these two uh, blocks. So an image banner and a multi column uh, block. Um, but maybe we don't want to show this multi column block on uh, a Belgian website because whatever reason it is, um, I want to hide this um, uh, for the Belgian store. And you actually see that I did this already. So I just clicked the uh, little eye icon and I actually not included uh, this uh, block uh, for the Belgian market. Now this means that it's still perfectly there for the French market, right? Because I only blocked it on the uh, Belgian store. So how you, how you have to see this is that there is a mother store, which is the default one, right? And then there are children underneath that default store and the children you can change um, however you want with um, different content, different images, um, switch blocks on and off, add blocks on and off or add specific blocks. But that doesn't really mean that the other children are affected because they are all dependent on the mother, uh, but the children are not connected within uh, each other. Um, so this would mean that you can have a setup where you say, I'm doing sales in Germany and I'm saying um, in Germany, big sales are coming up 20% off on all of the products, for example, um, or all of those products with a specific featured collection where you added all of the products to that are on discount and not to have um, this featured collection, um, yeah, uh, basically um, added to the store in, for example, Belgium. 
Obviously, there are some other things with the specific example um, that I just gave because discounts, um, yeah, you have to add to the backend, and they are actually um, working on all of the um, all of the markets because you cannot switch off discounts at this point in time depending on the market. But what you can do is make it visually in such a way that only the Germans see that there is a discount, if you understand, or that only the Germans see a specific discounted collection. Um, and this is how you can actually uh, make a situation um, in which you can um, uh, deliver certain experiences that are very, very much localized, not only translated, but also localized with different images, different collections, different blocks on your website, specifically for a certain market. So this just opens up a whole new possibility for localization in the different markets uh, on Shopify. And this is what I wanted to show you guys today. If you have any questions, obviously just reach out, let me know and um, enjoy. Bye-bye.